Anti-adhesive coatings uh, may play an important role in the food production industry because you can, let's say, facilitate uh, the cleaning process um, between production steps if you want to change a product and you can reduce the cleaning effort and the energy consumption by this way. And it's very important to have materials uh, which are easy to, to be applicable to, to surfaces. So we have developed a new type of materials, uh, anti-adhesive materials, which are based on, on a polymer matrix, which is filled with nanoparticles to give strength, abrasion resistance. And we made these particles cross-linkable to the matrix, so we get a, an increased mechanical um, toughness also. And we added also fluorinated compounds, which can be polymerized or copolymerized with the matrix. And this is a paintable system uh, at the end, so you, you just just paint it on the inside of a, of, a, of a part and then you cure it at ambient temperature. This is quite a problem uh, if you want to get approval. Uh, during the development steps you have to, um, only the possibility to, to change composition and to look for the properties and if you are changing composition you cannot get approval. So there's a little bit uh, the pity behind and uh, um, that's, that's how we uh, finally uh, made it. We, we found a partner, uh, um, which is uh, Institute for Umwelt and Verfahrenstechnik in Bremen. They made some uh, um, investigations on the technical side. They had lab equipment to test under practical, more practical conditions. And uh, also we had a partner, Lufa Nordwest. Uh, they uh, uh, gave the possibility to rent the technical area for a certain time and to make a long-term experiment. And this con could be done without any approval to get more information about a combined uh, loading on the, on the coating. For almost every kind, because we said, okay, it must be abrasion resistance, because if your powder processing uh, is, is in focus, you have abrasion by, by the particles. Um, you can use it for liquid products, uh, for thermal treatment of milk and juice, for example. Um, but in every case, you have a different, let's say, um, environment. You have a different type of viscosity, different type of substrate, which, which comes on the, on the surface, and you have to adapt the material to, to every problem.